On July 13, 2024, the world watched, stunned, as an assassination attempt was made on the life of former President Donald Trump during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The incident occurred while Trump was addressing a large crowd, emphasizing his bid for the upcoming presidential election. The scene quickly turned chaotic as Secret Service agents responded, ensuring Trump's safety and escorting him off the stage. Despite the severity of the situation, Trump exhibited remarkable resilience. He was seen clutching his ear, which was visibly bleeding, but managed to maintain his composure amidst the confusion. The images of Trump with blood on his face, fist in the air, went viral, portraying him as a figure of strength and determination in the face of adversity. The event has sparked discussions about the intense political climate. The attack on Trump felt different, a tremor that shook the foundations of our reality. Within this maelstrom of emotions, a particular group emerged, their voices gaining traction. Whispers of conspiracy and prophecy spread like wildfire. Could this event be foretold in the ancient texts? Could Trump fit into the prophetic puzzle? From the Bible, one verse in particular was thrust into the spotlight, Genesis 3.15, It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Let's go straight to the obvious. Former President Donald Trump was struck in the head. There has been a plethora of talk among Christians about this very specific and clear sign. What more evidence do we need? The debate rages on, fueled by fear, faith, and the undeniable allure of the unknown. Examining the assassination attempt on Donald Trump through a biblical lens offers a unique perspective. The book of Genesis, with this cryptic verse and vivid imagery, has captivated and perplexed readers. It's a verse that invites interpretation, but also one that demands caution and study with humility and discernment through the Holy Spirit. The desire to connect current events with biblical prophecy is justifiable, even sensible, given that we are toggling right along prophetic lines, just like the Bible foretells. It offers a sense of order in a chaotic world, a feeling of knowing the unknowable. However, this desire can also lead us down dangerous paths. Misinterpreting prophecy can fuel fear, anxiety, and even extremism. It can distort our understanding of God's character and his plan for the world. When we approach prophecy with a preconceived agenda, seeking to confirm our own biases or anxieties, we risk twisting scripture to fit our own narratives. This can lead to a dangerous sense of false certainty, blinding us to the complexities of the world and the nuances of God's word. The assassination attempt on Donald Trump, a shocking event in its own right, has become a lightning rod for such interpretations. Some see it as a fulfillment of specific prophecies, a sign that the end is suddenly about to pounce upon the world. While these interpretations might offer a sense of confusion or discomfort, the Bible urges us to test all things and hold fast to what is good. We should approach God's word with a posture of learning seeking to understand its message within its proper historical and literary context. This requires careful study, prayerful reflection, and a willingness to sit with the text, even when it challenges our preconceived notions. It also requires us to be discerning consumers of information, recognizing that not all interpretations are created equal. In a world awash in sensational headlines and clickbait articles, we must be wary of those who claim to have all the answers or who use fear and uncertainty to manipulate and control. Instead of chasing after every new prophecy theory or sensational interpretation, let us focus on the core teachings of Scripture. To be clear, according to the Bible, Genesis 3.15 states, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. We do not claim to know everything, but here's a biblical fact. Uh, the Bible interprets itself, which is how we have come to the conclusion that the text is in reference to Jesus and Satan, a foretelling of the crucifixion of Jesus and his victory over sin and Satan. If you're wondering, the woman is the church. Whether one views Trump as a hero or a villain, the fact remains that the attempt on his life has shaken the foundations of American democracy. It is a vivid reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present potential for violence in a world consumed by fear and anger. Since this assassination attempt on Donald Trump, the internet has been flooded with videos of prophetic fear questioning the motives of one political party or another. The assassination attempt on Donald Trump, while deeply troubling, should not paralyze us with fear or lead us into despair. Instead, it should serve as a wake-up call, a reminder to cling to our faith, to share the message of hope found in Christ alone. 
The world may indeed be on the brink of a new era, an era of unprecedented challenges and upheavals, but we need not face this future with dread. Let's take a line from David when he prayed for victory in battle. Psalm 27 says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. As Christians, we often ignore the fact that we have a hope that transcends the storms of this life, a hope anchored in the promises of God. Let us therefore stand firm in our faith, be beacons of light in a darkening world, and proclaim with boldness the message of hope and redemption found only in Jesus Christ. There is no doubt we are watching prophecy unfold in real time right before our eyes. The question now is, where on the timeline do you believe we might be?